Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I gotta clean my glasses. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is gonna be Leo, week two. Leo, Leo, Leo. <clears throat> week two. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you could be letting pride get in the way too. So basically, you're either forgiving or you're not forgiving. There's no other way around it. You know, um, time to forgive and move forward. No matter who you are, whether you take someone back or you don't. Because this is unhealthy. Current situation for Leo. How he or she is feeling. How he or she is feeling. Past life relationship and somebody wants to recapture what they had. What you don't see coming. And this is what I actually wanted to come out first, which is ironic. But I, I stayed with the, the way I would normally do it. Religious factors calling in your soulmate. There's a little separation here. Possible outcome. Wow, this energy is so different. Healing family issues and current past was two months ago, two minutes ago, two weeks ago. Reconciliation. True love at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is coming in hot with a Leo in Leo energy um, maybe you want someone to forgive you forgive them like there's someone in your life you have a, a crazy love with somebody Do, 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 do. Savage love. I don't know what that means. I'm feeling water. Water, water, water. This is the Leo. This is, uh, holy shit. Alright, tell me this could be the one. Let's just read real quick. Four cups. Juggling. Yeah, see. This is different than last Leo's. I don't know who I'm I'm reading for right now. There's water. It's the water card. Water water. I, this is this is you not wanting something, turning your back because somebody's juggling. Like this is a loss. So this contradicts this. Well, this is you wanting to win because you knew you were being juggled, but it's you don't even want it. But again, that would contradict this. I have to grab my water. Oh, see, look at water. You do. This is this is. I think my um, fire right now is coming in as water, and water was fire. Because I couldn't even find myself in the Cancer Raid. And that always happens. We're always shifting energy. Always. So again, this is contradicting. This is somebody who's like, I don't even want the damn offer anymore. Like, I'm just, I'm not interested. I already know somebody was the one, but you're no longer interested. Because games, manipulation, juggling. People keeping, keeping doors open, options open. Tell me about reconciliation. So in the past, you wanted to come back together with somebody. But I will tell you, you did. And you got past life right here too. And you got someone from your past is returning. Um, tell 
tell me about reconciliation. Yeah, it didn't pan out. You, I don't know if you try to fix a family situation. It's like where you were investing. Like you were torn between two scenarios. But not wanting to see something. Like not wanting to decide. Not wa You know what? Like again, it's such contradicting energy. Like you didn't want to see... It's like you try to reconcile with somebody from your past. You didn't want to see that it was over and there was no going back. You didn't want to see it. So there's somebody new in your life. But the new person, it doesn't even want to be bothered with you anymore. Or you don't want to be bothered with them because they did something behind your back. Yeah, see, this is like a big wake-up call. Now somebody's lonely. There's lack. This is a big wake-up call. You possibly lost an uh, uh, opportunity here. No, well, you did. Opportunity is lost because you juggled. You went back to the past thinking you could heal it. You weren't thinking. You went in blindsided. You, you went in blinded, you know. Um, didn't really make a decision, too. It was all about partnerships. And now you're, you know, now you're lonely and you're missing somebody and, but you caused this destruction just came to me. You caused this destruction. You missed an opportunity, Leos. I don't know why there's such, there's such masculine energy here. Masculine, masculine, masculine. No matter what sign you are right now, you're coming in as masculine in water. That's a water card. And now you're, you know, you're feeling lonely, you're upset. Because you thought the grass was greener on the other side and it didn't work out. I could see why you would try. It's family. But... You weren't interested in somebody at the time when they were interested in you. And now you're like, fuck. This, you're about to have a big wake-up call. It, it's, it definitely looks like a missed opportunity. So I don't know if there's somebody else is now dating someone else. Because you, you got new love. Tell me about new love. Yeah, you put somebody on hold. You were too focused on the past. This is what goes around, comes around, and I, I hate to say that, but you weren't focused with what was in front of you. You focused on something that was already dead and over. You'd already been stabbed in the back, but you're like, mm, fuck it, let me try again. So you must have kids. And now somebody that you love, you're either worried that they are in love with somebody else or, or vice versa, okay? Um, or this is somebody that, from your own past, that is really upset that there's new love that wanted to fight to have it back. Past life relationship. So... To me, this is you had a chance at new love. This is the opportunity you missed. I know you guys don't want to hear this. I hate delivering messages like this too, but I, I'm, I'm real with my readings, guys. You literally missed an opportunity because you went back to the past. Yeah, see? And now you got the emperor. I don't know if they were married, had a family, you know. Mutual love. And now it's like you wanted to work on it, but you did nothing. But again, you might have a wake-up call. Something's coming in where it's like it wakes you up. Tell me about playfulness because you want it back. So you basically let your past 
stop you. Yeah, see, now you have a feminine with a lover and a page of swords you're watching. You're watching somebody else date and play. Somebody you could have long term with. Stability. A solid foundation. So to me, this is happening or you're worried that this is happening. Because you know you missed an opportunity. You're coming in hot as water. And fire was coming in. No water was coming in with like the fire energy last week. And now this week is, it's like you guys are coming in water. So, <clears throat> Eight of Cups is a challenge. Revealing the truth is a challenge. Tell me about the lovers. Or this is another feminine that's given to two people. Damn. You got two feminine. That's giving it two people. Both women. You got a man here and two women. Either giving at the same time. You were playing with two people. It's like, but you fell in love. You're, you're extremely detached. You definitely want to reach out. Holy shit. You guys got yourselves in a mess. Mercury is about to hit you guys hard. Um... You played with two people, but you want to recapture it with one. But you're just watching. You're watching this all go down. There's two different women here. Everyone's not as innocent as they seem. I'll tell you that. And I don't know where that came from. Stabbed in the back. Not today. Sword of the Rose. So you're dealing with one which is probably a wife. This is wife energy if you're an emperor. You know, heartbreak, pain, separation, shocking attack. You know, not today. Not dealing with it. Avoiding. Still angry. Clarity. You know, so I don't know if she got it or she did that to you. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is a different energy. You got the butterfly relationship evolving going to the next phase so you have somebody that already stabbed you in the back or is just not dealing with what needs to be dealt with but yet there's there's no this isn't balance two women and one lover this is like the aries read but now i don't think she feels betrayed or stabbed in the back she could but she doesn't want to talk about it she doesn't want to avoid it she's sweeping shit under the rug she's angry or you're angry with what someone did to you. And then you have someone over here that's got to be the past life relationship, the mutual love, where you want something to evolve. You want it to go to the next phase. This is what happens when you lie to people. You get yourself caught up. So you're hoping someone's going to forgive you or vice versa. Now, religious factors. Someone could be a different culture, a different religion. Tell me about religion factors. But this is what you don't see coming. So this is an issue for somebody. But it's, it's also where your happiness lies. It's actually what's kind of bringing you together. So you're probably kind of more like-minded than you think. Hold on. One card for religious factors, please. Or this is somebody who's spiritual calling in a different soulmate. So you're, you're going through a transformation. But see, no, it's like you probably ended something because you didn't like someone's belief or there's something that bothered you. Well, you're dealing with a Scorpio. Someone in the public eye. That's public eye all day. So there's something about that that you don't like. But it looks like you m might talk about it or want to partake in something. So, because you don't see it coming. So, to me, this is like a, a transformation. 
I don't think that's negativity. This is you talking to like spirit angels, calling in what's best for you. Yeah, see, that's a fifth dimension. That's exactly what that is. So it's not really negativity. It's, it's you calling in what you want. So you're more spiritual than you think you are. That's what's going down there. You want somebody back in your life. Yeah. You want to... You want to speak, tell the truth. So somebody's coming at you or this is you, vice versa, however it works for you. So obviously there's a family that you tried to reconcile with and it didn't It didn't work. It looks like you did it behind someone's back. You let two people argue over you. Tell me about healing family issues. So there will be forgiveness. There will be healing. Okay, yeah, you will move forward. You guys will put the work in. You guys will get to exactly where you need to be. If you're seeking that forgiveness, it will happen. You guys will get there. It's just going to take a little time. This is something that was on delay too, but now it's about to move forward. So if you're cross-watching and you're waiting for somebody, for something to end and yada, yada, um, they are moving forward. Others of you, I'm telling you, if you're a Leo, you know that you're not, <clears throat> you're just not interested in a situation anymore because somebody was juggling, you know, and you know that person is right for that person. Not happy about it, but you're smart about it. I don't really think it's like that, but I said it so it could be for some. So you really got to change how you're thinking, especially if you're being negative, because this will move forward. This will be okay. This will be healed. Tell me about this four of cups. But to me, this looks like you missed an opportunity and everybody lost. Like you thought you were going to win in the end and you didn't. Yeah, see? Karma. Um, and if you're dealing with the Empress... Because there's an emperor here too. So there's a marriage. She just, she just, she can't. Like I said, this like the story I just read. She can't be bothered. But that tells me she's smart because she knows, she knows you're meant to be with someone else. And she just wasn't interested in rekindling. And it might not even have anything to do with anybody else. There might not even be that many people. You may think there is, who knows, but there's someone new for you, there's someone new for them, there's somebody new for everybody. Yeah, see, this is more the other way around. This was something karmic, and now you're just really missing the, ener the energy. I could have sworn this was already on the board. You must have picked it up. You missed, yeah, that's, you missed the opportunity. You let karma get in the way of... Love. So, forgive yourself, forgive others, move forward. Whatever you went back to that didn't work out will be will be healed. Okay. And here, there's I don't you know. You have a beautiful connection with somebody that's mutual. And it's like you want something to escalate and move forward, but right now you're just watching. And if this was that new opportunity that you missed, you you did a lot of damage on that person. Damage you don't even want to see. Damage you don't want to recognize. I mean, a lot of people got hurt. Yeah, see? It's, it's like over, but you want to reach out and start a new cycle. You're trying to think about, how do I get this back? How do I manifest it? You're, you're hoping this person is going to forgive you. I think the moral of this story is there will be forgiveness. I left when I saw you with someone. I look for you everywhere.
It's like I'm not available, I'm not having it. And then you have other Jesus like, I'll wait for you. I want this. Hide behind work, try to stay busy. This is everybody's energy and it's it's I'm just trying to get an overview. It's tough. You have a, a beautiful, beautiful connection, a past life connection with somebody. You just, you thought the grass was greener on the other side. I get it, family, but it was already dead. It was already over and you let, you let people argue over you. And now it's like, you miss certain energy, but you know what? It's, it's karma. You literally, you missed an opportunity. Um, I, I try not to worry about it. You know, things come back into your life. Maybe it just wasn't the right person or maybe further down the road, you know, and, and now you're sitting with karma and you're about to wake up and realize what you lost, but you caused a lot of pain to two people and to yourself, unfortunately. And you're a lot more spiritual than you think you are. Don't worry, the, the family situation will heal. It really will. There will be forgiveness. So I I hope, you know, lessons are, were learned in, in the midst of whatever this this was. Okay. Um, somebody will see something differently because you got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. So you will end up with somebody. It's just a matter of who... You know, everyone likes to say, you know, there's free will and if it's meant to be, it will be. It's not always meant to be. It's already meant to be. And it takes two people to work on something. And there was lack of effort. Someone did not put the effort in because they were too focused on something they shouldn't, been fo they shouldn't have been focused on. You know? And this is playfulness. Like, the, she could have been playing and acting like she got stabbed in the back. And doesn't want to deal with like it's 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 crazy. You all know your own story, but uh, forgive yourself, forgive others, and and move on. Find your own happiness, your own paradise. Like every it, this is basically saying everyone's happier once people move on. Happiness, joy, expansion. It, like really, you're just delaying the process. A family situation situation has stopped you from moving forward but it's it is gonna move forward and everything's gonna work out okay i love you guys i'll see you on patreon bye